Thank you so much for coming, everyone. We appreciate it. We're here today to end Charlie's bailout. We have uh, some major issues with this uh, with this deal. This is a deal that will raise property taxes. Uh, the board members themselves have said that uh, they cannot build a reservoir and purchase the U.S. sugar land. The board should be prudent and wait until the federal judge comes out in the next couple of days, uh, ordering them to to uh, go ahead and build a reservoir uh, instead of paying Russian roulette for the taxpayers' money. So we are against this deal. That's why we are here today. So we are here, here to end the bailout of the U.S. Sugar Corporation, and we welcome any candidate who will come to sign a pledge to support um, ending the bailout, and that's why Rick Scott is here today, and we appreciate him coming. Thank you very much, Mr. Scott. Thank you very much, Mary. First, first off, thank you, Mary, and thank you very much for uh, your hard work, for being a great patriot, for uh, standing up for against special interests and things like that. The more we have individuals like Marianne standing up for what's right, why won't you for, re for taking care of our country, for limited responsibility, why won't you limited government, for fiscal responsibility, right where we are. So that's why I'm running for governor. About 18 months ago, I organized a group called Conservatives for Patients' Rights. The, uh, and what we were trying to do is make sure the right thing happened on health care. And so it's so over that year, I spent uh, so many meetings with people from the Tea Party and talked about the problem with the health care bill. We killed the public option with the support of the Tea Party. We would have killed the whole bill if it hadn't been for uh, we didn't elect enough principal politicians. What about this so this <clears throat> so. What about I'm great bill? about I'm yes, great about the um, some of these programs. It's so the problem we have, as an example today, is what that we is, have we what, have what current politicians that are that are controlled by special interests. That's exactly what's going on here. Okay. So this is a perfect what about example. The deal? So so that's why that's what why I'm here to stand up to expose Bill McCollum's secret sugar deal, and which will end in a secret tax. No. Now, there's no the question Hawaii about it. Deal? Now, let's think about where we are. What about this Hawaii Today, deal? as we know, the South Florida Water uh, Management District is voting on whether to spend hundreds of millions of dollars of taxpayer dollars for the sole benefit of one company, U.S. What Sugar. What about this Atlantic deal? Well, this deal's been scaled down. What about the facts the remain the same. Deal? The South Florida Water District cannot, cannot, deal? cannot afford this deal. We have high employment, what about the dwindling, dwindling tax talking, revenue, about and a pending deals, court ruling Rick Scott, I mean, that requires the Water Management District to finish a reservoir project in which $280 million of tax dollars have already been position. spent. Hey, I mean, the only way to country. complete the proposed purchase requires irresponsibly deposition? diminishing the Water Management District's reserve, raising taxes, or going into debt. Voting in favor of this Atlantic sweetheart deal Atlantic for U.S. Sugar, sugar Places the interest of one company above those Mr. of 7.5 million people who will end up being taxed what to pay for this political favor for U.S. Sugar by Bill McCollum. What about your bill? While this deal is terrible for taxpayers. What about the money you received? I mean, come on. I'm standing right here. Do you see the reporters are shooting? It is terrible the career politicians you and the board's standpoint would move forward with something so gonna irresponsible. Be, it's going to be bailed out. Career Talk politicians, like my Talk opponent, Bill McCollum, has sat idly by while his fellow cabinet member, Charlie, Charlie Crist, negotiated this deal. I mean, are we gonna he call has it done nothing to oppose Scott this hidden in tax increase. I mean, Bill McCollum's lack of action is not surprising as he's been bought and paid for by U.S. Sugar. All you have to do is Bill McCollum has Mr. been Rick bought Scott and paid question. for by U.S. Sugar. One question. During it's the course of this question. campaign, McCollum and his attack groups have directly position. or indirectly Atlantic. received nearly what $1 million do? from U.S. Sugar. Let's repeat that. During the course of this campaign, Bill McCollum and his attack groups have directly or indirectly yeah. received nearly one million dollars from your sugar. The chairman of the he has a secret deal. This is a secret election. sugar deal and that will result in, in a secret tax. The tea party Unfortunately for your sugar, in contrast to Bill McCollum, I can't be bought. My name Just as I'm doing Wilson, today, as I governor, I will either. stand up but to the Tallahassee special interest and yesterday, fight against the irresponsible tax and spend policies that career politicians continue to support. He's here protesting. So, 
Now think about it. I did a debate last week, and what did Bill McCollum say? Oh, a fee increase is not a tax increase. Let's talk about sugar. So, today I stand with the taxpayers and hardworking Floridians and implore the board of the South Florida Water Management District to place the residents and the taxpayers, 7.5 million residents, ahead of those of U.S. sugars. I say to Bill McCollum, no secret sugar deal, no secret tax. What about this bailout? What about as I pledge as the next governor what about of the, the great state of Florida, received? I will govern based on principles. What about this I will vote, I will run the state based on taxpayers, you show up not based on special interests. Thank you very much, Marianne, for organizing this, you and I hope the South Florida, South Florida Water District does the right thing. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Scott. We really appreciate your support. We have some uh, questions for you, Mr. Scott. Guys, guys, guys. Why can't we just ask a few questions? I, hey, I'm the chairman of the Tea Party, Mr. Scott. Why, why are you walking away? Why can't you answer one question? What is your 